Jerome Wright here and once again you're joining me on my Jerome Wright channel okay um in this um video I'm going to be looking at stained glass I've done other videos on stained glass but I think that you might find this one to be quite more interesting than the um than the others okay um it's always been my position that um art any form of art no matter where it's put at or whether it's on in sculptures or um in paintings or even in glass the more unusual it is the more of an attraction that you have to it it is simply because these images these designs um the texturing in this artwork and in this stained glass is a reference, a reference to who we truly are and it's encoded in the glass. Um, it's my position that these, these glass windows and doors that carry such um, symbolizations are so because they are the doorways, the entranceways into your home, um, like dimensional doorways for, for beings to come in and out of your home, okay? and. By these people creating this, not only are they making the money from creating these designs and selling them to you for high prices, high end prices, there is a an attachment, attachment to something that is beyond and something that is guaranteeing these people that make this type of stuff almost like a place in the beyond. You know what I mean? So their names, people that create this up their names and the cult-like designs behind everything that they're creating is attaching now to you the person that they like to put this stuff into your home thinking that is you want it because it's just beautiful whereas there's an underlining cult message behind it all and that's pretty much what i'm stating if you google art deco art deco stained glass um hold on art deco stained glass melbourne house or you go melbourne house art deco stained glass either way um these images that I have here come up. Um, I'm going to go to the one that I'm going to be showing you. The, the first ex the first image that appears will be that that guy there. It's actually this guy right here. That's the window. The stained glass. Now I'm going to be I'm going to be decoding that image. And let me go. There it is there. I'm going to be decoding that image. What do you see there in this image? Very beautiful glass, isn't it? You don't... Do I have this adjusted up? And I only have 15 minutes, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear this video out pretty quick. Do you see anything there? beautiful piece of glass right automatically I see red flags because I see symbology here up here I see horns coming out um, I see this as being something along the lines of African and Maya in there and um, that's just what stands out immediately to me now I'm gonna read this glass to you you're gonna be like well how in the hell can you read a glass to you well, through my paranormal experience and encounter, wherever there is something that is relating to who we truly are, I'm there. My mind is there and I can read it. And this is what this stuff is set up for. It's set up for dimensional doorways for those that are beyond that go come and to and from our world dimensionally, spiritually. They know through reading this, it's a message board. And this is how I can read it. I'm going to show it. It's like I have a foot in this world and a foot in the beyond world. You know what I mean? So um, um, I'm, I'm dimensionally all over the world, mentally and almost seemingly physically in a sense. But anyway, I'm going to read this image to you and um, just let me know what you think. And I'll go from there. I'm going to tell you automatically. I'm going to have to ask you. I'm going to start reading this now because I don't went five minutes into talking about nothing. First of all, Look here, right in here, this, this colorful design. What is here? There is a male figure with his arms at his sides and a band around his waist. 
and a rock coming out. I'm going to bring that in closer. You see that male figure? That's a man with his hands at his sides. So what is that man doing there? That man is shown his organ, his penile gland being ext extended down to what seemingly is an egg down here. That man <clears throat> is showing me that he is stuck between the vulva, the vagina lips of a vagina. Okay? And his penis, which is extended, is extended down to through the vulva, the vulva lips, the vagina lips, and is piercing like a needle, an ovary in that vagina. This is suggesting a reproductive system. Now check this out. It even gets better. In fact, I'm sorry that I didn't do it. So what is being described? Why is this why is this even here, first of all? Because this man, his entire body is representing a penis. Showing you that that penis is actually penetrating vagina. And then there's the ovaries, impregnating the ovaries. So what is this doing here? Well, if you come up here, and I wish I would have copied something out here. I'm not going to get a chance to do it. This symbol here, who, who is behind all of this? This symbol here is in an ancient rooted religion. You have the circle with the four cubes off off to the side. You normally see it in ancient Renaissance images, um, almost like a halo behind Jesus. This right here. This is where you will notice that this appears. Well, if what I'm stating is all true, then I should be able to read the rest of this. I'm stating that this here, this circle, with these lines out, looking like a um, like a um, like a wrestler's championship belt. This here is describing the epidermis, in that scenario. And everything else which is being described. You see these squares here? It's my position that all of this across here is stating how through the testicles of mankind there was a resale structuring of those of this guy's penis and it's showing you in the glass. It's a recording in the glass. And it's symbolic. And the reason why you see these horns, I know what this means as well too, people. The reason why this is showing like this is because this is a recording through art which describes how mankind was genetically altered from one stage to the next. And it shows you who were responsible for that change during its specific time. And this is what this glass is actually implying. You have two reproductive systems, people. You have the penile gland being shown. This is the the, the penis and the um and the um and the organs there within the um the penis. This is the reason why you have a male figure head is hitting his head is hidden here behind his <laughs> This um, these cells and the testicles, as I was telling you, and it's in, it's insinuating a penis penetrating a female vagina and her ovaries, and through a restructuring of these cells shown here, this is representing a restructuring of cell structure, showing you and telling you exactly what is being described, who has done it, who's responsible for it, the restructuring type, and then a reseeding into the female vagina. But it gets even more crazier and creepier because off to each side, the way the glass is lifted and the texture and, oh, no, 
and the texture in the glass, it is actually showing me I can read faces in here. Chin, mouth, eye. I can see faces, and I don't know if you can see it, but I, I'll actually draw you out one. But look at the side here, and you can actually see faces. Chin, mouth, nose, eye. And then if you turn it, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm going to draw it out right quick for you. I'm going to draw something out for you right quick before I end this video. How many minutes do I have? Ten minutes? Not ten minutes, on no, five minutes. I'm going to draw this out right quick. And there is a person sitting in here. People, what's happening is I found out that there are unique ways that images appear. I can't tell you everything let me see if you can see this one face I just highlighted that oh gosh this is this is, you see the face I highlighted right here chin lip mouth part partially parted the eye there that is right here and then the hat area or the head area where the hair would be at it creates other faces which I'm going to actually do it well, I can show it show you from this side. I don't know if I can and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. I'm, I'm doing this real quick. I should have actually done this beforehand. I normally like to. And these half dimensional faces, uh, there's another guy there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. I don't want to mess this up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, in the guy's, in the guy's hair or hat area right here, if you turn it, am I turning the right way? Yeah, I'm turning the right way. There are two other creatures right there, green creatures, reptilian like, you see their faces, one there, one there, you see that? Nose, mouth, eye, eye, you see how they morph together, and then here right side by side, let me see if I can. Well, you, know, you should be able to see that. You see that? So, you have three dimensional faces. Look at this. And I just did minimal lines so you can see that. One and two. Right there, side by side. And they are in the head area of a larger face. Now, it gets deeper, people. Because there's a kneeling person, knee, with their hand down between their leg. Face. Hold on, let me... Let me... Let me show you this. There's a kneeling person before this figure with the face of a monkey. You're probably going to say, oh, God. All right. How many minutes? Okay, I got 13 minutes. Okay, I mean, two minutes left. All right. Um, here's a kneeling person before that male figure. Right there with the monkey's face. Hand down between the legs, but knee, monkey's face, head hair piece or head piece that they have on, kneeling towards the mouth of this individual, which has a, so you have four different images, and there's other morphing images there as well, too. But it's my position that these glasses, these stained glasses are designed to create that. And here we have a prime example where I've identified a male figure in the glass shown penetrating the vulva, the lips of a vagina, and reseeding an egg with genes. This is this is this is this is um, um, I'm suggesting a cell restructuring. This is this is right here. All of this is representing the penile gland and the restructuring of cells. Pretty much that's what I'm actually stating. And the epidermis and other things associated with that, the testicles and, um, and, and, and cells in the penis are all could be identified right here. And that's what this is actually stating. Looks like something you'll see fucking from Star Wars or something. 
You know what I mean? This is what this looks like. Like Star Wars. But this is representing cell restructuring. And it's my position also and my discovery that that halo thing that actually appears behind Jesus that has these bars and these little squares capping it at both ends here is actually is telling me that this is representing a cell restructuring and this is the reason why it actually appears behind Jesus and it's actually said we look at it as being something oh I gotta stop this is not gonna go I gotta quit people right here into your home um, like dimensional doorways for, for beings to come in and out of your home okay and by these people creating this not only are they making the money from creating these designs and selling them to you for high prices high-end prices there is a an attachment attachment to something that is beyond and something that is guaranteeing these people that make this type of stuff almost like a place in the beyond you know what I mean? So there's Jerome right here. And once again, you're joining me on my Jerome Wright channel. Okay. Um, in this um, video, I'm going to be looking at stained glass. I've done other videos on stained glass, but I think that you might find this one to be quite more interesting than the, um, than the others. Okay. Um, it's always been my position that um, art, any form of art, no matter where it's put at or whether it's on in sculptures or um, in paintings or even in glass the more unusual it is the more of an attraction that you have to it it is simply because these images these designs um, the texturing in this artwork and in this stained glass is a reference a reference to who we truly are and it's encoded in the glass um, it's my position that these these glass windows and doors that carry such um, symbolizations are so because they are the doorways, the interest ways, their names, people that create this up, their names, and the cult-like designs behind everything that they're creating is attaching now to you, the person that they like to put this stuff into your home, thinking that it's, you want it because it's just beautiful. Whereas there's an underlining cult message behind it all. And that's pretty much what I'm stating. If you Google Art Deco, Art Deco stained glass. Um, hold on. Art Deco stained glass Melbourne house. Or you go Melbourne house, Art Deco stained glass. Either way, um, these images that I have here come up. Um, I'm going to go to the one that I'm going to be showing you. The, the first, ex the first image that appears will be that that guy there it's actually this guy right here that's the window the stained glass now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be decoding that image and let me go 